I'm Ian Nagel from Nuanced IT here answering a question from John on the Zoho forums. He wants to know whether the Zoho CRM API is two-way or one-way. As Michael pointed out, there is two-way capabilities. Essentially, you can push data in via the API and you can also pull it out. How you can achieve that is two ways. You've got the, the polling approach where if you want to pull data out, then you use the API to poll so if you wanted to do that, what you'd probably do is you'd use Node.js or PHP or something along those lines. And then you can simply use the API to get the data out. I'll show you an example of that. So I've got this Chrome extension here that can add data into the CRM and it also looks it up as well. So I've got my Zoho CRM model here and we've got this function to insert records into the CRM using the Zoho NPM module. Also inserting notes and generic records, leads, accounts, contacts, potentials, and then you've also got the ability to pull data out. The way you do that is by using something like get related records. That's a API method where you can, so we've got this query CRM method, and basically here what we're doing is we use the set search records task and that can return a JSON object which is pretty easy to parse. When you're inserting records in it's a little bit more tricky you do need to actually use the XML APIs. So that's the polling approach in the sense that you can push data in and then if you want to get data out you'd need to poll, you'd need to continually call search records or get record by ID to check whether something has changed. But the other approach that Michael pointed out is that you've got the ability to add webhooks. So if I create a new workflow rule I can make it trigger a webhook The way I do that, I go in there, let's say when a particular field is updated, let's say when country is updated, I can then fire a webhook. And a webhook is basically an opportunity to send data to a specified URL. For example, if I've got an API that I've created myself, my own web service, I can ask Soho whenever the country field is modified to send a request to that service, basically making them talk to each other. So Zoho is going to say something to my web service and then my web service can look at the data that was sent by Zoho and you can choose whatever data you want to send. So I can either use a URL parameter, which is where it's going to, let's say my web service is jeremy's service.hurokuapp.com and then I might have lead ID equals blah, blah, blah. So the way I can do that, I can put the URL to notify in here and I can do a GET request, that's probably the easiest way. I can pass in the lead ID, can pass in, let's say, the country. And then what it's going to do, if we preview the URL, oh, I have to supply it. So I'll do lead ID country. You can see 
it's going to put that data into the URL and then it's pretty easy for my web service to identify that, figure out that the country was updated, have the lead ID that was updated and then perform some kind of action based on that. In a nutshell, you definitely can do two-way interactions with Zoho CRM. You can either use a polling approach or you can use a webhook approach.